100 years ago this November, after more than four years of bitter fighting, the guns on the Western Front finally fell silent and World War I was over. That war had a huge impact on our then young and small country. With a population of barely one million, New Zealand mobilised more than 100,000 of its people to fight overseas. 60,000 were wounded, more than 18,000 perished, and many more were mentally scarred by their experience. Scarcely a family across the country was not in some way affected by the loss of a loved one. Today, we come together as we do every Anzac Day to pay tribute to those who have served their country at war and to remember those who gave their lives on our behalf. We choose Anzac Day, a day when our troops landed 103 years ago alongside their Australian comrades and Anzac Cove to remember those who served and those who died. In the battles that followed on Gallipoli and then on the Western Front, our soldiers endured the hell of trench warfare, shelling, rifle and machine gun fire, later gas. We don't come here today to glorify war. That is not what those who fought and suffered would have wanted. Rather, we come here to pay tribute to the courage and the steadfastness of our service personnel and their readiness to die rather than let their mates and their country down.